Swing and a miss, goes down on strikes. That's a good looking breaking ball right yeah, there. Nice secondary pitch from yeah. Dominic. Count me a big fan of Adamic. Is that how you pronounce it? I'm sorry. Adamic? Adamic. Stressing the A wrong. I think the t other team may be stressing it differently if yeah. he's continuing to frustrate them. <laughs> <laughs> well played, sir. Carson really confidently shuffles his pitches really well. I mean, he'll, he'll throw a, a breaking ball and a fastball count, change-ups. Obviously, it looks like he knows what he wants to do, where he wants to put his fastball. So he really could, it's really a starter profile for him at the next level. He's working 86 to 88 with the fastball. And, and again, you know, I don't know if it's on purpose or not, but he, he elevates, he works both sides of the plate. You don't need to daydream much t to think that, you know, Carson's going to go, you know, in two or three years, he's going to put on 20 pounds of lean muscle, and he's going to be a beast. That thing's going to be mid-90s on the fastball. It's easy. It's downhill. He's got feel for three pitches, and it looks like he really knows where he wants to put it, too. Carson and Dominic was absolutely dominant. Six inning pitch allows just one hit, uh, four strikeouts, he has a few walks, but he just absolutely looked locked in from the start. And this pitching a shutout looked fantastic. Yep, confidence was great. Four pitches for strikes. Fastball was 86, 88, 89 early on. Um, like I said, threw that changeup in there in the, in the upper 70s, low 80s, and then he's got the curveball slider to go with it. So obviously great tempo from him. Um, we moved right along this game. Obviously, we, capped off the one inning with the run rule. Um, but, yeah, great performance from Carson. I'm excited to see him in the future. Um, he's actually got a, a future games invitation out to him. Um, so hopefully we can have him there and, uh, and get another one of those performances. Fifth-ranked right-hander in Georgia, 15th overall. You look at the, the next-level numbers on him from this one, a .71 batting average against 59% usage on that uh, fastball. He gets a 31% swing and miss on that. The breaking ball was next level, though. He gets an 18% usage, 66.7% swing and miss on his secondary stuff. He talked to you about the use of a changeup. What did you think specifically about him and the secondary uh, pitches today? The confidence with it. I think we, it goes back to that. I think having the confidence in those pitches. Um, he told me he was obviously mixing in that changeup and really wanted to learn to throw it. So um, obviously showed it today, but that breaking ball, um, did really, really well. He started off early in the lineup. He went fastball heavy um, to start guys off. Obviously, the one hit off of him. Um, I think they were just kind of sitting dead red on fastball to lead that lead that hitter off. Um, but, yeah, had, had great swing and miss stuff. Um, flipped it over for strikes early in the count as well. So, um, all around, really, really good performance. Six innings pitch, one hit allowed, just a double, a shutout for Carson and Dominic. Gets him player of the game from our matchup here in this game of the day for the National Program Invitational. A big eight to zero win against Kane uh, Southeast today for you guys to get you, you to get yourselves back in the win column after a loss yesterday. How much confidence does that bring your group now, knowing that you guys are tied with the best team from your pool and that you have an opportunity to make it to bracket play here come tomorrow? Well, I mean, we just came off a loss and then we come out here with a lot of energy. I mean, hopefully it just like carries over into bracket play, just keeping the energy, the momentum, just playing one game at a time. Hopefully it works out. Yeah, and today you went six innings, one hit, two walks, four strikeouts, fastball in between 82 to 88. What were you feeling out there on the mound? Um, what were your coaches telling you pregame, and what kind of uh, in-game adjustments did you make to really keep this Canes American team off balance? Well, yeah, we worked uh, just one pitch at a time is what we try to focus on, just executing each pitch, whether it's off-speed, fastball. But we just try to work every pitch in for a strike and trust the defense and get things happen. So. Obviously, with that win, you guys are one step closer to bracket play. Obviously, there's one more game that has to happen for your pool. But how excited and how much confidence does this win today give your team that you can really compete with anybody in this tournament, really in, in the NPI? Yeah, I mean, it's a great tournament, a lot of good teams. And us winning this game just brings us more confidence and momentum just to carry it on, hopefully just play our game. And we're there for, with everyone is what we saw today. So.